So the Resident Evil 4 remake came out today, and I made sure to install it first thing this morning and to play as much of it as I could. I'm already on Chapter 3, and I am loving it. I, for context, I am an old-school Resident Evil fan. I have played most of these games. I think I've played every main Resident Evil game, including some of the side ones on, like, Game Boy Advance and stuff. Um, I've played all of them. I've speedrun most of them, uh, you know, just on my own. But um, I really know this series, and I'm very, very, very happy with this remake, especially. So the Resident Evil 2 remake was very good. I was incredibly satisfied. The 3 was okay. You know, it was fine. Um, I liked it, it, but I wouldn't, like, recommend everybody buy it. Um, Resident Evil 4 was always basically, hands down, my favorite of the whole series until, you know, maybe 7 and 8. I, I really like those. 8 is not my favorite. Um, but 7 gave 4 a run for its money. Before I get too far into that, I think a lot of fans will tell you that Resident Evil 4 was the pitch perfect game. In between, some games are like too slow burn, too survival horror. So other games are like way too much action. Resident Evil 4 was perfect. You always felt pressed by the enemy, but never too pressed. This remake takes all of the best flavors of Resident Evil 4 and turns them up to 11. I'm so happy with how they did this. All the main mechanics that everybody likes are still there. There's pesetas, the currency in-game, there's the merchant, there's spinels, but actually they changed the way the spinel works, and I like it because, so the spinels are now like an extra special currency. You know, in a lot of games you'll have one currency and then a special currency for like rarer items. The spinels are now um, not just another gemstone. They're a special second currency. I like that. All the changes they make really make sense. Um, the writing is so much better. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy with how they did the writing this time. Because, um, so in the first game, it's like the two cops are kind of loosely established and it's a meme. You can find, I'll even, I'm going to try to put this uh, 4chan meme in there, but it's a summary of how Resident Evil 4 starts. And it's so goofy when you think of it that way. Leon basically rolls in the original game. Leon rolls into this Spanish village and says, I'm an American Secret Service agent, shoots a villager in his own house, and um, somehow that's okay. But in this one, they do such a better job. They establish, they make it very, very clear that um, that the threat is real, that Leon didn't just kind of roll into this situation and start shooting people. They do it, They it's the same story, but they do it so much better and so much more subtle. Um, I already met Luis Serra, who is one of our like secondary characters. Every character is written better. Uh, the pathos of like Leon, where he's like, yeah, I'm kind of traumatized from those other Resident Evil games that I've been in. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm hardened by the battles I've been through, but I'm not like looking forward to this. I'm not taking it for fun or anything like that. The the writing and the um, all the cutscenes are really, really good. I like all the new designs. Um, I feel like they're going to give more character to Ashley, who was previously just kind of like very two-dimensional and kind of annoying. Um, you know, that's classic Capcom early Resident Evil writing is just quite bad. <laughs> but um, they really tuned it up and did a great job on this one. Now it really feels like a passable story that you might want to show somebody. You know, good games, it's like you can almost watch like a movie. And this definitely has that feel much, much more. Um, everything in the new Resident Evil engine, it's called the RE engine. I, I realized recently it's also used in the Devil May Cry series. Um, it's a beautiful, fun engine to play in. It, it's like buttery smooth. It's not that hard to run. You can run it on older machines. You'll see in these screen caps, you know, that they're kind of low res. I'm actually playing on their ultra performance, uh, just cause I need a new computer, but, um, it runs uh, for any kind of machine and it looks good and it plays smooth. Um, all the remakes in this RE engine are like the opposite of what you are used to for the original Resident Evil games where it's like, you know, the original games were like so hard to control with tank controls and like fixed cameras. None of that in the RE engine. It reminds me of, um, what is I, the Foxhound engine? The Kojima, like Metal Gear 5 engine. Those are both ones I think of where it's just so smooth. Everything makes sense. Um, it's really just a joy to play. Um, that's all I have today. If you made it this far in the video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we're trying to grow this channel. We just made 500 subscribers and now we're trying to get to 1,000, 2,000. 2,000 would be a great goal because uh, then we could get monetized. But anything you do, like, subscribe, comment, it really helps my channel. It tells YouTube that, uh, you know, people should see more of what I do. So uh, thanks for listening. Definitely loving Resident Evil 4. And yeah, I'll report back. I'm, I'm loving it so far. I cannot imagine I'm not going to enjoy it. Um, you know, like I said, I played the all the remakes and I speed ran them. Um, you know, I'm not, I don't expect any kind of little surprises that are going to disappoint me. This has been fantastic so far. Oh, so I, one thing more thing I'm going to say is that, uh, the beats of the game are done just right where like, it's basically exactly how I remember. 
but it is changed enough so that if you've played Resident Evil 4 and you're sick of it, like I said, I speed ran this game, so I know it really well. And, you know, I originally wasn't even going to try this immediately because I was like, uh, I know it so well, it might be boring. They've changed it up just enough that there's new jump scares, you know, new little, not too many, but new little uh exciting moments at different points um but it still follows the story it just does it better um yeah really loving this one and in fact the more i talk about it the more i want to log back on and play so uh i'll catch everybody i'll catch everybody in the next one thanks for listening